I'm going to show you how Facebook scammers use people's love of animals to promote their scams. Oh, Hi everyone, welcome to Planet Juju. If you share your home with animals, you'll know that loving them could be beneficial to our mental and physical health. It decreases stress and has a knock-on effect to reducing blood pressure and heart disease. Enjoying stroking an animal will cause you to release the trust hormone oxytocin and give you all the endorphins that make you feel happy and loved. So the thought of losing our own pet or seeing them injured is relatable enough that when you see a post like this on your Facebook feed that's already been shared by friends or in public groups, you just want to help. You've just fallen victim to social engineering, the psychological technique that scammers use to exploit the feeling of caring and urgency to trick people into making rash decisions. If you're interested in the chemistry behind this, there's more detail about it in my video about missing person scams, and I'll put the link to that in the description. But they're just designed by scammers to manipulate you into helping them promote their fraudulent activities. By doing a search on a few lines in the text of the post, you'll find multiple similar posts in groups on Facebook, and once they're shared multiple times, the original poster will edit the post by deleting the original picture and text and adding new information, which then changes every shared post too. The edit will always contain some sort of scam. That might be a phishing scam, or in this case, a house rental scam, where homes that aren't even up for rent are advertised by scammers, and then they ask for a deposit to secure a viewing, or supposedly stop others from renting it out, which of course they can't follow through on because they don't even have access to the house. They've just stolen the pictures from another post. All the profiles that post these scams are fake profiles and that's why I haven't bothered obscuring them. Before you share a missing animal post, please view any post like this with immediate mistrust and do your research first. If it's a post that's been shared in irrelevant locations, it's very likely a scam. In the UK at least, it's illegal for dogs not to be microchipped. So if you see a post and the dog's not microchipped, dig a little deeper. And if you weren't aware, this also applies to cats from June 2024. Don't share it or respond to it. You can report the post directly to Facebook as false information. And they do actually reduce the visibility of these once they've seen enough of them. Stay safe on Facebook. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Oh,